Welcome! Today I want to show you one of the best survival plants, the stinging nettle. The plant gets up to 2 meters high and you can find it near the forest and in the grassland. I'll begin with the leaves. They are serrated. They can get up to 15 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. There are many little stingers on it, so be careful. The stem is mostly green but sometimes red. It's also full of these stingers, they are like needles. If you touch them, your skin gets red and itches. Therefore, it's better to wear gloves while collecting. If you aren't allergic to nettles, it's rather harmless and the pain gets away really quickly. Otherwise, it lasts a few days until the pain gets away and the skin is normal again. The blossom is yellow-brown and can be collected from July to September. Here you can see the seeds. The seeds are mature from September to October and they are green in the summertime like you can see here and they get brown afterwards. Normally they are square. So how you can use the sting nettle? The leaves and the blossoms can be eaten raw but you have to care of the stingers. You can avoid them if you cook the leaves or just squeeze them until it doesn't burn anymore if you touch them. The seeds can also be eaten raw, but they are quite delicious if you roast them. The plant is full of protein, about 30% of the plant, and it tastes like spinach. And the seeds like nuts if you roast them. That's quite delicious. It's also possible to make cordage out of the stem. If you want to see that, let me know. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and if there is any wishes what you want to see next tell me. Until next time, bye.